Hi there, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Maun Ali. Today I'm here to bring you some confusing words. When we use them, often we get confused how to use them properly in our speech. There are a lot of there are lots of confusing words we have got. It's not possible to talk about all of them in the single class. That's why today I'm here to talk about only some of them. Now get started. See the first one, especially or especially. Actually, they have got the same meaning. Their spelling is different, but meaning is about to same. Their meaning is particularly, particularly. Suppose I like to go abroad, especially Thailand or especially Thailand. See, first one sound is especially, second one sound is especially. But when English speaking persons pronounce quickly or uh, yes, when they pronounce quickly, we can't sometimes recognize the differentiation between them. It doesn't matter, it isn't important, just especially or especially they have got the same meaning and their, mean, their uh, meanings is, their meaning is particularly, the meaning is particularly. Okay, go to the next one, cook and cooka. First cook can be used as a verb or can be used as a noun. See, cook. Uh, what's your profession? What's your profession? I am a cook. It is as a noun. Our uh, verb, could you cook me a delicious meal? My mother cooked me a delicious meal yesterday. My mom cooked me a delicious meal yesterday. Next one, cooker. Cooker can be used as a noun for a machinery products or for a machine. It is a machine cooker. I have lost my cooker. Could you buy me a new cooker? Cooker. Next one, lend and borrow. Lend means actually related to uh, give. Could you lend me your book? Could you lend me your bicycle? You can lend me, then after using it, I can give it back. Okay, could you lend me your bicycle? It is related to give. Lend means give, but after using it, I have to give it back. I have to return it back. Return, I have to return it to the owner. Next one, borrow. Borrow, actually the owner can borrow me. Sorry owner can lend me something or the person who is uh, borrowing something he can borrow so could may i borrow your bicycle may i borrow your book that means may i take your book then after using this i will give it back to you or i will return it to you okay next one control and check control means to tell what to do or what not to do okay control the authority control the authority controls the administration the authority of the school controls the administration next one check check means to look at uh, the customs officer uh, checked my passport and visa the custom officer checked my visa and passport. Next one, fail and failed. This fail actually is the past form of fall. See, fall, fail, then fallen. Present form fall, past form fail, and past participle fallen. So fail actually is the form, is the past form of fall. It is fail. I fell down. Suddenly I fell down on the floor. Second, it is felt. It is passed from a feel. Feel. My mistake. I probably I, I misspelled feel. It should be this one. Oh, what I am doing? Feel. Feel. Feel means. Okay. 
feel, felt, felt. Okay. Last I felt nervous during the viva. Last day I felt nervous during the viva. Okay. Next one. Embrace, then embarrass. This embrace means when we hug someone, when we pull somebody or someone towards our chest as the sign of adoring, as a sign of adore. Okay, when we adore someone, when we pull somebody towards our chest, when we put our arms around somebody, is called embrace. Embrace means hug. Okay, uh, don't embrace me, I don't like it. May I embrace you? Yes, you can. Embrace. It is a verb. Embrace. Second is embarrass. It is also verb. Embarrass means to feel shy, to feel uncomfortable. Uh, okay, especially in social situation, in front of somebody, when you feel shy, when you feel uncomfortable, is called embarrass. To make somebody feel shy. Okay, I was embarrassed uh, by her remarks. I was embarrassed by her remarks in the party. Next one, throw. This throw can be used as a verb. Throw, verb. Did you throw my mobile phone in the garbage? Did you throw my mobile phone in the garbage? Throw. Next one, it is conjunction. It is actually conjunction. True or it could be used as a preposition. It could be conjunction, it could be preposition, okay? So, through, then through. So, it could be preposition or conjunction. Suppose, uh, I, um, I threw my mobile phone through the window. I threw my mobile phone through the window. This through can be used preposition or sometimes can be used. Generally, it is used as a preposition, not conjunction, my mistake. It could be used all time preposition. Next one. It sound actually thara. Thara. Thara means actually done something completely. That means complete. Thara, whole, complete. You have got thorough knowledge of English. You have got thorough knowledge of English. That means you have got complete knowledge of English. Thara means complete. It is used as an adjective. It is used as an adjective. It is used as, as a preposition and it is used as a verb. Throw through and thara. We get confused using them often. Next one, wonder and wonder. They have got same meaning, first wonder. It could be used as a noun or it could be used as a verb. This wonder means to think what will happen, what I should do, etc. When we think something, uh, when we think uh, about something, what it, it will happen, what to do, what you are going to do, something like that, that time we can use wonder. I was wondering uh, how, how she looks like. Sorry, I am wondering how she looks like. Or I was wondering how she looked like. Okay. Or wonder can be also used as a noun. I was mesmerized, I was mesmerized at the sight of the wonder of the uh, Bangladesh, of Bangladesh. I was mes mesmerized, I was surprised at the sight of the wonder of Bangladesh. So I wonder means natural beauty. This wonder, same sound, this wonder can be used as a verb, this wonder means walk, walk without having any purpose, 
walk around some place without having any purpose. Uh, some naughty boys, some naughty boys uh, were wandering around the house. So wander around means to walk around something or some places without having purpose. To walk for nothing. Okay, when you walk. Sometimes I walk uh, around the park in the evening. I wander around the park in the evening. Okay, wander. Next one, lie, light, light, light. This lie means to tell a lie. When you tell a lie, that time we can use this lie. Past form is light. You lied to me about the problem. You lied to me about the problem. This lie also past participle. You had lied to me about the problem before I knew the actual fact. Then lying, it is the present participle form or gerund form, lying. See, when we write on lying, the spelling is getting changed. It was lie, see, now it is lying, extra Y. When we add ing with the lie, that time I will be uh, omitted, I will be omitted and extra Y will be added. See, lying, be careful. This, this lie is also lying and it is lying. Now, this lie means to uh, when you lie down on the floor, when you lie down, lie on the bed, lie means to put our body or put ourselves on the flat position. No more standing or no more sitting. When we lie on the bed, when we lie down on the floor, that time we use this lie. Okay. Uh, last night I lie down on my bed early. Last night I lay down on my bed early. Lie. Generally I do not uh, lie on the floor and laying. He has lain on his bed recently. And past participle, sorry, present participle or gerund is lying. See, L-O-I-N-G, lying. Next one, lay. This lay is transitive verb. Lay means to put something on something. Okay. Uh, she laid her clothes on the sofa. Lay. Lay actually is a transitive verb and this lie in transitive verb. Okay. So lay. Lay means to put something on the on something. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, repeat it. So especially or especially they have got same meaning but having different spelling they have got same meaning but having different spelling and their sound is about to same first one is especially second one is especially but we cannot differentiate sometime when english speaking person pronoun efficiently or pronounce quickly that time we cannot uh, identify the differentiation so especially or especially next one Cook, cooker. Fast cook can be cook something to prepare some food. Or uh, cook can be also used as a noun, as a profession. I am a cook, as a profession. Then second cooker. Cooker cannot be used for a person. It can be used only for a machine, for the products. Cooker, a pot. Okay. Next one. Lent. Lent means to give something. Could you lend me your bicycle? Then after using it, I'll, 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 uh, I'll give it back to you. Okay. So lend. Could you lend me a bicycle? Then borrow. Borrow means to take uh, or get. May I borrow your bicycle? May I borrow your bicycle? Or may I borrow your book? Okay. So borrow means to take something, but after using it or after reading it, then you have to return it. You have to give it back. Okay. Then control and check. First control means to tell what to do. Okay. And check means to look at. Second one, it is past form of fail. Fail is a past form of past form of sorry fall. Past form of fall. Fall means we know 
when the trees trees leaves fall on the floor okay fall 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 past form is fail so fail is the past form of fall and felt is the past form of feel how do you feel now okay last day i felt nervous so felt next one embrace embrace as a embrace means to hug to hug second one is embarrass it is also a verb it is also a verb embarrass embarrass means to feel shy or uncomfortable to make somebody feel shy or uncomfortable in front of the audience in front of the uh, in front of some persons or uh, in so social situation next one it is throw throw did you throw my mobile phone throw next one through can be used as a preposition i threw my mobile phone through the window okay next one thara thara can thara can be used as an adjective you are you are a thara uh, learned person about english you are thara learned person about english or in english or we can tell she has got thara knowledge about english or she has got thara knowledge of english next one wonder wonder means uh, to think what to do or what will i will do what will happen something wonder this wonder means to walk randomly without having purpose okay now lie first lie can be used uh, to tell a lie and see the past form past participle form and see the uh, present participle form and gerund form second lie this lie this lie they have got same spelling but they have got different meaning they are called homophones homophones are words that have got same sound or sometimes same spelling but they have got different meanings lie past form lay past person lay this lie can be means when you lie on the floor or when birds lay their eggs okay oh my mistake it is lie it is a, then lay lay means actually put something on someone this lay also means when birds lay their eggs lay okay lay lay also lay has a lot of meanings so now before finishing my lecture i'll tell you something you know if you have got any confusion about any word it is better uh, for you it would be better for you to search for the words in the online dictionary already i have recommended the dictionary to you oxford learners dictionaries.com you can use this website and you can find out your desired word okay so it will be better then you can learn lot of synonym antonym and you can learn lot of confusing words okay so okay now before finish my lecture I'll tell you something um, i uh, offer my apology i apologize to you for my mistakes if i have anyone in my class or in my writing if you see any kind of mistakes in my writing when i write down something on the board or when i speak to you in english during my speech if you get any kind of mistakes it could be uh, about pronunciation mistake it could be a spelling mistake it could be any kind of thing that i don't know please let me know and i apologize to you for my mistakes i'll try my best to uh, control my mistakes from now on okay guys have a good day see you all in my next video